Hi guys. You know, clothes alterations doesn't always just mean clothes. I get a, um, a lot of requests to do different kinds of repairs. So this one is an interesting one. I have started it and then I thought, oh well, I might just stop and show you what I did. This is actually rubber, right? It's quite, um, it's stretchy and it's thick. Um, this side has got like, it's almost like what you would use on Velcro. <clears throat> Apparently it's part of a <clears throat> something to do with weights. You know, they wrap that around their leg and wrap that round. <clears throat> Whoever made them, when they stitched it, the stitching started to come apart. So they've come to me and said, could I secure it? <clears throat> what I'm doing is I'm going to go over these four sections, which I'll show you a close up in a minute, these four sections that are stitched. But of course, when you put something like this under your machine, generally what happens is it doesn't move. It doesn't budge because that rubber just grips onto here. And so you're literally just going over the same position. And even if you try and pull it, you know, you could break your needle. There's all sorts of things that could go wrong. So what I've found is it's just a really little easy trick. Um, this is just um, called, it's just baking paper or cooking paper. It's a non-stick. So I, I mean, I don't just use this for alterations, of course. So you just want to tear off a piece. And I'm going to slide that in underneath. And then I'm going to slide that over the top. And it's just going to sew perfectly. And then later on, I'll just pull the backing paper off. And after a few washes, that'll come out anyway. It's a bit like when they do embroidery, they put something on the back, you know, so it's the same sort of thing. So I'll do a close up of that, show you what that looks like, and hopefully that'll help you when you ha if you have that kind of situation with rubber backed garments. You know, for example, that might be um, dive wear or something like that, you know, where it's got that rubber backing. So you can see here, there's a close-up. This is the one I've already done. Um, stretch. And if I put it in, I'll just show you. If I put it in the machine without that, you can see it's already stuck. I mean, even if I change it and use this foot, it's not going to make any difference. not going to go anywhere and, you know you can pull it but you know that's really not a very good idea because this rubber is just so bad so pop that on pop that on like that doesn't matter how the paper is So here you can see it and all you've got to do is just pull that away. It's the 
So, yes, there's some paper there, but that'll eventually come off. And if you want to, you could go through and just lift the bits in between like that. It's only paper. So it'll pull off like that. Depends how nice you want it for them. I don't think these people really care. So now I'm going to do these ones. Now, if that was a straight line, it would tear off and you, you wouldn't see any paper whatsoever. But I wanted to zigzag it and the reason I did that is because this is going to be under a lot of stress and strain. And so I felt that zigzagging it was probably going to be better than just doing a straight stitch. But you could see I could sit there and pick it out if I wanted to but I don't think that's going to be necessary and I'm sure that it'll get washed a few times and when it's washed that'll just come out. So now that's fixed. So that's how you sew something that's got the rubber on the back.